What is going on guys and welcome to a new video and in today's video we are going to be talking about the top 5 set that I missed out on basically and that I really really want to add to my collection. So these are sets that basically came out when I wasn't collecting Lego Star Wars so that's why some of these sets you may be thinking like I've got that set, how have you not got that set? Or that set was dead easy to get. And then you haven't got it. So these sets are basically the sets that came out that I just didn't didn't manage to get my hands on, basically. So number one, which is the cheapest on the list, we have got Kylo Ren's Starfighter. So this set originally cost £75 when it came out. And now if you want it sealed in box, you're looking at around £90 to £100. Considering it only retired about two years ago that's quite expensive but if you look at it it is quite a desirable set it looks really smart it looks so sleek like it looks really really cool you get some good characters you get four characters not often you get four characters with a starfighter at the moment definitely want to be picking up sooner rather than later before the price just skyrockets and i have to get a used one i'm not bothered if i have to get a used one but i'd much rather because it's not longer been out get a a brand new one basically. Next on the list is the Republic Frigate. So this is a set that came out quite a while ago. I think it was 2012. It originally cost, let's have a look, it originally cost about just over a hundred pounds and now you're looking at a price of 120 to 150, 160 depending on what you get and whether you get one with all the parts that are in good condition, all the characters, because the characters are quite desirable in the set, like you get a Commander Wolfie, a Wolfie's Trooper, you get three, two Jairs that we haven't had before. So this is a really, really good set that I would really like to pick up, because I really want to try and get all the Clone Wars sets. I've got quite a few so far, but I, there are a few I need that you'll see in this video to get. So the Clone Turbo Tank is in the same boat as the Republic Frigate, it costs about 100 pounds when it came out and now you're looking to pay maybe 100 to 140 depending on the condition whether you want the box and everything like that this is just this is one of those sets that do you know when you wish actually i don't wish i just had one of i wish i had about two or three or four of them because it looks insane everybody that has reviewed turbo tanks has said that this turbo tank is by far the best one like it's got really cool features it's a really good size some good characters lots of characters and it just looks insane so this is a set I really, really want to add to my collection, like sooner rather than later, before it, the price just keeps going up and up and up. Because I don't think they'll be remaking a new one anytime soon. They remade one that wasn't the Clone Wars not long ago, but I can't see them remaking one. And this is a set I so badly want to add in my to my collection. So hopefully soon I find a good deal. So the Venator is the next on the list. And this is a set that when it came out, it cost, I think, similar price from Brick Set just over £100 and now you're looking to pay way over £140. They, there are not many people selling their Venators at all so you'll be very very lucky to get one for less than that really especially considering the Clone Wars is such a big hype. I mean maybe once the hype died down and you're onto Bad Batch and things like that maybe it will go down but because this is the only Venator they've done and it looks like it will probably be the only Venator they ever do I think this is a set that I'll be very lucky to get anytime soon. Just simply I'll be priced out because of how much you're actually paying over how much it costs between when it came out. So this is a set I would love, but I don't think I'll be getting it anytime soon. So this set is a bit different. So we've had three Clone Wars sets and we've had a Kylo Ren Starfighter. And this set is going to be the most expensive and it is the UCS Sandcrawler. This set just looks insane. I bought one of my, f the first big-ish sets that I bought going back into Lego was the newest UC the newest Sandcrawler and that was very poor. When I realised that this one came out not that long ago, I think it was 2014 was it, 2015, somewhere around that time and this set just looks incredible. The amount of figures you get, the play features. It, I've always been a fan of the original one and this one just looks amazing. So this is one I definitely think I'll be picking up. If somehow I find a really good deal or I have a spare 300 quid because it originally it was 250, now you're looking to pay about 300, which isn't too bad, but this, oh, this set looks amazing and I can't wait to have it 
in my collection. Now we're on to some honourable shout outs that didn't quite make the top five but are on my list. So first we've got Krennic Shuttle. This is just a really sleek ship that I want to add to the collection because I want to have it sitting next to Kylo Ren's shuttle. You get some great characters, you get some exclusive characters like Krennic, you get two Death Troopers, you get the droid that was in Rogue One, I can't remember his name, but that looks insane. The whole, the set in general looked really smart, and I think I will be picking that up, but not before the others, obviously. Next, we've got the Kessel Run Millennium Falcon. This set would be my second Millennium Falcon. I've only got one so far, and I don't know. I just think it's so different, and that's, this is technically what the Millennium Falcon looked like when it was first built. So that's why I'd really like it, and you've got more features. You've got, like, the escape pod different characters. I just think that would look so clean sitting next to my other Millennium Falcon. Then last but last least we last but not least we have got the First Order Heavy Assault Walker which I would love to have this set standing next to my newest AT-80. I just think it looks cool. It's different. That's why I like it because there's loads of AT-80s but this one just looks like a beast. I don't think it's got particularly many play features but that's why it's basically not made the top five. And this is another set I'd really like. So thanks for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, remember to hit the like and subscribe button. And leave down in the description below any sets that you've missed out on that you would really, really like. I'm intrigued to know what everyone wants, basically, because a lot of it now is ordering on eBay. And yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Mm.